How are you doing and how have you been? This is my basic deep drilling guide for RimWorld. This guide will cover the basics in deep drilling, what the processes look like and how to set it up. I'll also put any additional facts and figures on the screen to help you in your journey. Upon completing the ground penetrating scanner research, the first step of deep drilling is to build a ground penetrating scanner. It is worth noting that this item will not work if there's a roof over it. When clicking on the scanner, as we can see, Dave is working hard. We can see there is progress down here to guaranteed find. Once that hits 100%, then you will be able to find something on the map. We will go over that shortly. You also have a random find interview and you can see the, the user speed, which is to do with your person's research. Please also bear in mind that this scanner is very power hungry. It loves to eat all that power. And also the progress of actually finding these underground resources is infinite. So you should never, ever run out, which is absolutely beautiful. So to find out if you have found anything, you click on your ground, ground penetrating scanner. Equally, you can click on your deep drill or trying to install it. Upon clicking this, if you go over the map, you can see there's highlighted green squares here and each sector of this is worth 300 steel. Lovely. Once you have found or scanned your underground research, you will need to build a deep drill. You will need to put it on these green sections and you can see the white outline of where you've built the drill to see where it will cover. So once all these are depleted, so green means they haven't been touched, yellow means they're on their way and clear means there's absolutely nothing left. You can reinstall these at any point to move them, which is absolutely lovely. They do need a power source nearby, so it's up to you how you do it. I like building something that's easy to sort of tear down and rebuild. Equally, you could run a power conduit across the map. The choice is yours. As we can see here, Dave is hard at work deep drilling. If we click on the deep drill, we can see the percentage down here, which is really handy. And then it just pops out the ground to be hauled away or used for your delight. Please note that resources found in deep water cannot be extracted. So that's always a shame. There are limitations to where it spawns on the map. Some areas you just can't get to. However, one thing that we do need to bear in mind that is super important. So please bear in mind that mandrills are capable of drilling into underground insect hives activating an event as we can see on screen called too deep so i hope this will help you on your rim world adventures and always drill responsibly catch you next time party people bye